Hi guys. Today I will go over how to park in between two cars in a parallel way. As you see there is a car number one or the front car and car number two or the back car. I will try to park in between them in a safe and professional way. The first step I have to be on a drive mode and I will drive forward to get in beside the front car the distance between me and the other car is maybe like a let's say a three feet you know two to three feet and my right side mirror should be in the same level of the left side mirror of the front car as you see then I have to do three steps. First step, I need to move the signal to the right. So I will be warning any car comes behind me that I'm trying to take this space so they will not stop or wait behind me and I will have more space to have my parallel parking in a safe and professional way as we said. Um, then the next step is to move the transmission stick to reverse. And the third step is to turn the steering wheel all the way to the right until it stops. Okay. Then I will let the brake pedal off. I don't need to push gas. You might need to push a little bit of gas depending on what type of street you are on. For me, I'm on a steepy downhill road, so I don't need to um, uh, uh, push on gas. I will just release the brake and the car will keep going. As you see, the car is getting in between the cars, the front and the rear car. Okay. As I am going backward, I have to pay attention to my left side mirror. If I'm able to see the right edge of the front bumper of the car number two or back car, I have to stop going backward to do the next step so i will keep going back as you see and now i'm able to see i'm able to see the um the right edge of the front bumper of the second car the right edge of the bumper the front bumper of the second car is the edge as you know beside either the grass area as you see or beside the curb area in case of a main street so now I'm able, as we see, to see the, um, the right edge of the front bumper of the back car. What should I do? Next step is to do um, a, a half turn while I'm going in between the cars. Okay, then I have to pay attention to two things. My the front of my car should not be very close to the front car to prevent any accident. At the same time, I have to look at my right side mirror and exactly on the door handle of my right side rear door, the passenger side rear door. If the door handle is touching the side of the street, which is either the curb or the grass area, as you see, I will do the next step. So as you see, it is touching the grass area as you see you know so when it's touching the grass area now the next step is to complete another left turn while i'm going reverse very slowly okay keep going keep turning left and as you see i'm far away from the other car by looking at the front of my car i'm looking at the right passenger uh, so the right side mirror i'm away from the grass getting away from the grass a little battle and also by looking at the left mirror i'm getting closer to the back car so now as you see by turning the steering wheel all the way now i'm, I'm not able to turn it left anymore okay mm -hmm. just keep going backward a little by little now i'm getting in between the cars okay Again, by looking at the right side mirror, 
I'm not getting over the curb or the grass area. At the same time, I'm behind the front car and I'm in the front of the back car. When I reach this level, in, okay, that's the best level. So you see the back car, the front car. Now the next step is to straighten my car. How to straighten my car? By doing two steps. Move the transmission stick to D and then keep moving forward while I'm straightening my steering wheel. And then if I find myself not in the middle between two cars, I have to go again to reverse and then another small left turn on the steering wheel to just to put myself in between the cars. Now I'm exactly in the middle between the two cars. We have the front car and we have the back car. Okay. I hope this was informative and easy to follow. Again, always when you stop your car, put it on parking and always drive safe. See you in the next video.